Hey guys, D Mike here for another episode of Super Mario Galaxy. Speaking of galaxies, or domes I guess, we've actually completed every single dome except for this one. So we're slowly coming to an end here. We're going to start off today's episode with a Daredevil Comet. If I remember correctly, based on what my knowledge is of what this mission is, this one's a bit of a butt, so yes. This is the one. It is a blast. Actually, this galaxy in particular is the one that we're going to be spending a decent amount of time with today. If everything goes according to plan, which it never does, so... Nothing easy will ever come our way, that's for sure. But it wouldn't be a, a D-Mic Let's Play if it did. So if you remember, the last time we were here, we had a bit of a geriatric encounter with Camilla. We gotta do a daredevil fight. The old lady Kamek. Kamek. Cartoon, I don't know. I actually don't know how you say that word. Kamek, Kamek, Kamek. You say it however you want. This fight's not any different than the last one, except for having, obviously, fewer HPs to keep us alive, so I imagine this will probably not be a fight that I will be able to do the first time around, but we'll see. The one thing that makes this fight a little tough, I think, is the depth perception, because it's kind of tough to see where you're going exactly and where you're shooting the shells at. Oop. So, there's just, if you remember the last time we did this, there's just... There's just an infinite amount of chaos that's going on here. With the, the KMX shooting crap at you, Camilla shooting crap at you. Hopefully we can get out of the way quickly enough. It's just... It's, everybody's trying to throw their balls at us. It's kind of rude. Oh, that's lame. Come on. Lame. That's not a good way to start. Also, I was not offered the one-ups from Toad. So clearly Peach is uh, slacking. Doesn't care about her man Mario anymore. It's like, I'm not subsidizing your galaxy run anymore. Figure it out yourself. You'll earn those one-ups. Pull yourself up by your bootstraps, Mario. Is he wearing boots? Yeah, I guess he is. It'd make more sense to say like overall straps though, I guess in this case. Pull yourself up by your overall straps, Mario. So I think this one takes this fight in particular. I believe this one takes this is the is a five hit fight, which is cool that they've already given me green shell. Oh jeez, they've given me green shells back to back now instead of having to have Camilla drop her balls on us. It's kind of rude. I do like her now. Looking at like her her sprite design, I do like the kind of ruffled shirt she's wearing, along with her like. Her magic hood. It's kind of cool looking. So yeah, it does help to to get rid of the KMX. You do have to be mindful of everything that's being thrown at you. Apparently, the KMX are capable of launching crap at you that will... That can bonk you when they're teeing it up. So that's three hits so far. So far, so good. Once again, another... Another enemy that explodes when you hit him. So that's good. We like that. The dodging part isn't so bad when it's just Camilla. When it's Camilla plus two KMX, stuff starts to get a little hairy. All right, so it was four. Two tries, that's not too bad. Not too bad. If you've been enjoying this video, this is a little bit late into it. I normally do this sooner, but whatever. I, sometimes I forget. If you've been enjoying this video and the rest of the series, don't forget to like the video, subscribe if you haven't. Comments are always great. Things are starting to pick up a little bit in the views. I've seen that there's been a slight uptick lately, which I really appreciate. Seeing those videos get watched has me hopefully knowing that you guys are enjoying yourselves. That means a lot to me. So continue to watch through this content. Give me feedback if you'd like. I'm always going to be willing to hear that. Okay, so this is annoying. There's only Garden Stars left. And usually, 
when you finish a star, it pops away back into giving you the next round of comets, but it hasn't done that now. Once again, this is just a stupid, I don't know if this is a glitch or not, or if I'm just unlucky, but as you can see on this map, all we have left are garden stars, everything else is done. So I have to go and visit this dumb Luma again. Luma kind of looks like a bit of a crackhead with the way he's jumping around. Yeah, I would love to. I'm wasting my 20 star bits. What am I going to do with, without my 20 star bits? It took me all of 30 seconds to, to get those. That's, this doesn't feel very efficient. So hopefully this pops it back up. It does. I hope, Hopefully I will not have to go back and do this every single time when I want to do these stars. I mean, it's just going to unnecessarily complicate the video, and that's not ideal. Because we're almost done. It's not like the game needs to throw me these curveballs, but I guess you get to see Flying Mario a few more times if that's what you're into. All right. So let's pop back in. I had a specific order that I kind of wanted to do these in, but I guess I don't really have a choice. The game is essentially railroading me into doing them the way that it wants me to do it. Ooh, this one's fun. Oh boy, can you hear the excitement in my voice, guys? This one's tough. All of these last ones are pretty tough, to be honest. But I guess that makes sense. The whole point is you're at the end of the game. You're supposed to be a battle-hardened warrior. You should be able to handle it. This one's tough just because of... It's very unforgiving. You know, these platforms are moving. You, you don't really have it a choice of what you're doing once you get started because this is an auto scroller so once this little platform gets uh gets a groove it's uh balls in your face coins out in space you know you don't and, and i mean if you miss them it's hard to kind of get back to it which sucks so just be mindful of that the constant changing of gravity too kind of plays with your brain a little bit Try not to get hit by the beach balls, because if you do, that will make this exponentially harder for you. Ooh, I was, I was afraid I didn't grab that one, then that would have been bad news bears. So far, so good. It's a, This just makes it tough, because it's like, you have... It's hard to kind of see what you're doing in space. I feel like I've already let my platform go, so hopefully it comes back. It's not. <laughs> well, that was fun. Yeah, you have to be quick on this one. That's what makes it tough. It's kind of like the Battle Rock one, but worse, I guess. Definitely worse. Yeah, it's worse. The Battle Rock one was more about agility. I mean, this one is too, slightly, but this one is more also about spatial awareness. And this one's tough because if you get kind of outside of the plane that I'm on, where the coins are situated with their shadows, it's kind of tough to get back to that. And getting back to that is pretty crucial when you do this because then you're not having to wander around in in like the 3D space to find it. You'll just be able to grab them. The 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 beach balls in particular will cause havoc with that too, so it's just something to think about. So I'm going to try this an alternative way this time. There we go. That's better. See if we can catch up. There we go. How do we feel about condiments, everybody? That's kind of a weird, random question. Oh, I missed. <laughs> All right. Maybe I can still get this. Nope. Stop. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I got so distracted by lunch. And it's dinner time, so. Oh boy, here we go. We're plugging away. This is good content, this is fun, right? You're enjoying yourselves, that's what matters. You can uh, live vicariously through my pain and suffering. It's good for your health. That's the D-Mike way. Save yourself, let me bring it to you, you know? Let the chaos and frenetic lifestyle of uh, 
of a Mario game, let me take care of that for you. You know, it's like restaurants that say like, don't worry about cooking, you know, leave dinner to us. Leave this to me. I get, I don't know. I'm trying, that's the best analogy I got. It wasn't my best, that wasn't really, that was kind of half-baked, that's okay though. All right, so we're gonna, nope. Not that, not that, stop, quit. All right, we still got it. All right, we're hanging in there. Ooh, that was close. Make sure I get this one before it disappears this time. That was pretty uncool. Oh, this one sucks too now because now we're going sideways. Oh boy. Uh, oh no. <laughs> uh, it's hard to see it because like once you start going in other directions, this screws with your mind. And I know that that's intentional, obviously, but I don't remember it being too hard after that point. So it's like once you can kind of get through the early gauntlet of the coins, then you should be fine. And thankfully the game does throw you a bone and it does give you that one up early. So you can, I guess, try this an infinite amount of times unless you miss that. And I like that they give you a life stream, like that's gonna make a difference. Once you get hit, it's pretty much game over. It's hard to recover from any sort of damage not because of it being a life issue, but because of it being a timing issue. You know, if it, it's an auto-scroller, so the game itself is gonna pass you by, just like life does sometimes. So you gotta, you gotta, you gotta be quick. You know, you gotta, you gotta move and groove. We don't have time to, to dilly dally. All right, so we're, we're keeping at it. You know, we're being very steadfast right now. We're gonna keep our head down and plug in at our work here. We're doing okay. This sideways portion is coming up. We're getting better. This is one of those things where it would be good to kind of get yourself in line with the shadows of the coins if you can try to run in the straight path. I'm actually turning my head sideways to look at this and it is hurting my neck a little bit so I might have to sue Nintendo for any sort of work related injuries here. All right, get down there Mario, please. Thanks. All right, bud. So far, so good. Oop. Hopefully I didn't miss any. Oh, that's not good. Recover fast, hopefully. Oh, the iframe saved me. That was nice. Oh, no. That barrage of big blasty balls gets you every time. All right. This is one that I know is like... I feel like there's enough chaos and viewability to what I'm doing that I won't skip it, I don't think. I think it's funny enough at least to watch me die in every ridiculous way that I do. So hopefully you guys enjoy that. Revel in the pain. Misery loves company though, so, you know, maybe that's what keeps us all going sometimes. We're doing okay though. This one's actually, I lied, I actually do like this one. I think part of the reason why I do like this one is just because it's, it's a butt because of how tough it is, but I don't feel like it's unfair. It's just, it's just chaotic. Some of the ones are unfair. Like the timed purple coins missions, purple coin missions are, some of those are unfair just because of the way that they're structured. This one doesn't feel too bad. As long as you, you just gotta keep going. And I mean, my muscle memory is getting better every time I do it, so. I say that, and then I'm gonna have one where I'm just not gonna get past like the first five seconds of it, so. You just gotta stay in that line of coins. Follow the shadows if you can. Avoid the balls, as we're known to do. Tilt your head sideways. Get a crick in your neck. Okay, so here we go. More chaos. Gonna hop down and just keep hammering away. Oh crap, nope, nope. <laughs> I jumped the wrong way. I get, at the very least, like, I don't know. I don't want to cut away from this because I think it's funny and it, it's not too bad. At least I'm making progress, but part of the issue too is that I think I might only have purple coin stuff left and I don't want to have this episode be 45 minutes long just because I'm incapable of doing this game for children. It's funny that I've played through this. I played through this game casually about a year, a year and a half ago. And obviously, you know, I say casually like this is professionally. 
I played through this game casually a year and a half ago, and it's funny because in playing this game, I just know that besides, oh boy, <laughs> that's a good one. Besides, this video could just be a fail compilation all on its own. Besides the time that I played it when I was a kid, when I first got this game, I didn't have any muscle memory for any of this. And so I remember just being absolutely furious when I got to this part of this game. My muscle memory of the mechanics was just not there. And I did this mission probably, probably, I don't know, at least as many times as I'm doing it now. But, you know, at the very least, I understand what I'm going for. And so it's not quite as infuriating. It's still quite, it's still kind of infuriating. But I also realized that this is content being made for the people by the, well, it's not really being made by the people, it's being made by me. But it's occasionally a, a group effort when I do co-op stuff. But, um... It's, oh, what, what's happening? <laughs> there we go. Hopefully it's still gonna let me do it. Okay, good. So that part is determined by you. It doesn't thankfully kick off until you get there, which is nice. It's just that everything is so kind of slow when you're trying to move around. But yeah, this mission in particular, and then the Daredevil mission of the Freeze Flame, or the, no, not Freeze Flame, the, the lava one with the volcano. That one in particular, really gets him a goat and I don't like it just because of how that one is unforgiving. This one isn't so much. It's just it's just kind of challenging and tough. This feels like a bit of a like an end game gauntlet. Like the game is saying hopefully like hey like you should be good enough to do this now because you've come this far. Now that's the game assuming that the average person who's playing this game is competent, unlike me, so they got that going for him. Oh come on. <laughs> I didn't see that. That's not cool. I'm starting to look at this like I'm panicking a little bit in my head because I like I don't feel like I'm gonna be t I'm too too many tries away from getting it, but I'm just thinking like obviously the longevity of this video is gonna be tough. But then again, maybe I'll extend this video a little bit because I know that the next video is going to be the short one with well I I say that it's going to be short in terms of star collection length with oh, there only being two. This is gonna be the the last normal three star video besides the the green three so that's going to be coming up next week but um this is the last normal three that we're going to be getting and then i'm going to bump it down to two for the penultimate video that means second to last for those of you who aren't aware of that word uh, the penultimate video so that way things are wrapped up in a nice, tidy little bundle. I've got plans for the future. How the way I want to do things. And there's also going to be something... I'll probably wrap things up in a... In a in, and I'll put a bow on it too, with the way I've got it set up. So you guys are in for treats these next two weeks as we... That almost rhymed. As we finish up Mario. As we... Ooh. That's a nice amount of coins. I didn't even notice that that's how many you get by this point. All right. So let's keep the jumps short. We have to be kind of nimble here. It's kind of the big thing. Wish I wouldn't have grabbed that yet. All right. So far, so good. Oh, come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. Nope, I'm running in circles. <laughs> All right, I think I'm screwed. Oh boy. I don't think I can recover from this. This is also kind of chaotic. Okay. Well, that's fun. <laughs> that's a little unfair. That was a... You saw it, everybody. You saw that my controller glitched. I didn't do that on my own. That's one thing that I... I don't know if that's consistent. If any of the rest of you have played Mario Galaxy before, at least this version, not the original, obviously. But if you've played the HD remaster, then I would love to know if you have ever had these weird controller hiccups like I'm having where the because I'm using the pro controller and I'm just using the joysticks right and the left joystick sometimes gets locked into place and then it just spins me in circles I don't know if I'm like hitting something incorrectly or if it's like something wrong with my pro controller it doesn't do this with any other game I've played which is why it leads me to think that there's just something weird about the way the mechanics are set up for Mario Galaxy and if that's the case I'm fine I would like to think that my, you know, 
I don't even know how much these retail for these controllers, but it was enough. But these controllers aren't broken. Controller, I only have one. I'm not that famous yet to be able to afford multiple pro controllers. That's how you know you've made it. It's not about it's not about the the clothes and the cars. The 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 true status symbol for the the uber rich, which I am just on the cusp of being clearly, is uh, pro controllers. So just think about that. That's when you know you've made it. That's conspicuous consumption right there. All right, so that jump was a little off frame, so that was not what I wanted to do. Please grab this. All right. I'm going to try to be mindful of these balls in the background. That's kind of what takes me out every time. No, nope, please don't. No. Nope. <laughs> I didn't mean to side jump. Come on. This is actually compelling, so I'm feeling pretty good about leaving most of it in. Unless it goes too long, and then maybe this will just be my two-star episode. We'll see. I'm so conflicted. Clearly you can tell that I plan these episodes out in advance, but the way that I'm talking about it... That's fun, though. I like to kind of wing it. Not as much as I used to. That was one of the things that I thought about when I... Sometimes go back and I see some of my old content. And then I just realized... And it was obviously a different... It was a different time, you know. Back in the day. But... I like to think about how the old content that I made, I literally did just wing it. I would make something, I would, you know, fire up my crappy, crusty old laptop, sit there in front of it, and then I would record just absolute, I mean, it was fun, like, I don't, don't get me wrong, but it just felt like I was just recording, like, garbage, and then, you know, the quality was not good. I'm just saying absolute nonsense. I mean, okay, let's be real. I still say absolute nonsense. So that hasn't changed, but it was uncoordinated nonsense. There was no intentionality to my nonsense. Now there's a little bit of a, there's a little bit of a flow to my nonsense. It's all planned nonsense at DMIC Industries. That's what you get. It's high quality gold flake. The flame and yawn nonsense. So just think of that. You're getting high quality nonsense. And that that's hard to come by. Like that's a commodity that I don't think everybody has. And oh. Well, that's a horrible way to go. I am starting to get to the breaking point of like willingness to do this. But I am doing it for you guys. Feeling very steadfast as always. I think I already said that, but I'm gonna say it again. The game is starting to push my buttons, but that, again, was my fault because of my pushing of buttons, or the the lack of doing that. And that's kind of the difficulty of this auto-scroller, is just that it's so slow. So it does make things a little tough, because once you want to get back into it, you can't just run through it. You can't really game plan this too much. You have to be, you have to go quickly sometimes, other times you have to be patient and wait. At least the game does kind of give you these little breathing sections where you can catch up. Oh, there's a little spin rooney That was almost bad. But we're doing okay. Probably the fastest we've gotten through this little section here. I'm trying not to backtrack too much, and I'm trying to slow down Mario's momentum, because that sideways jump that he does is useful when you're trying to jump up cliffs and stuff, but it's not useful when you have constantly changing gravity that this place is where he is on the on the platform that's moving without you so you got to be careful all right more nice coins we're doing okay we're in good spirits so far hopefully everybody else is doing a good is doing good and you're in good spirits oh let go of that i'd love to hear more from the uh from all y'alls how you're doing in your in your lives hopefully you're oh get up mario please Ugh. Blast. Almost. We're gonna keep hammering away. I think I've spent... I, I, I thought it was gonna take me longer to do that Camilla fight, and it didn't, so... I know that at the very least, this one is, uh... Dominating this, this episode. It's gonna... It's probably gonna be thumbnail-worthy at some point. I'll have 20 minutes of footage of it to pick from. I would just like to get it over soon 
not just for timing's sake, but for my sanity. Because everything's starting to kind of blur together, but I am starting to get it. This just feels a, li a little bit of like those, those like challenge Mario Maker runs that I've seen people do, where they make super hard courses and then you have to kind of muscle memory your way through them. That's how it feels. Obviously, this is just regular Mario, and it's not meant to be like extreme, an extreme challenge or anything. I'm just not good at this game, so obviously it's gonna, everything's gonna come across as a challenge to me when you're dealing with me behind the wheel or behind the stick. Oh, I did not know you could jump on those. I have learned something new today. Should always try to learn something new if you can. Learning's fun, you know? Expand your mind. Critical think. Become a better ambassador of humanity if you can. You know. Brush your teeth, comb your beard, kiss your parents. Maybe don't. Always try to mind your P's and Q's. Alright. This part is kinda tough. You gotta be patient here. So you don't wind up getting exploded like like that almost was. That was close. Alright. Nope, get up there. Come on. We're still, we're still on track. We're still on track. Stay on target. Stay on target, Mario. No, that's not good. I don't know if the boat's going to leave me behind here. Nope. <laughs> I almost did a... Uh, <laughs> I almost jumped to my doom there. I don't know if there's a... Well, there's the last one. I'm kind of scared. I don't know where it is. Oh, it's up here. Oh, it's gonna give it to me. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. That's beautiful. I was I was pretty legitimately scared right there. Oh my god. That was something else. Woo! I knew once I got to that point that it was easy. Once you get through that little sideways gauntlet, it's not too bad, but... Yeah, I'm gonna try to squeeze one more star in here. We'll see what's left. It does And I have to... Mm, I love having to do this. This is a... This is a super fun part of this game, is that it doesn't just queue it up for you. You gotta go get it yourself. So what this is basically doing is this is just saying that nothing in life comes free. You know, you gotta work for it. Although I've heard the phrase, the best things in life are free, you know? Is that true? Do you guys feel that way? We're gonna spend 20 more of our hard earned star bits to move a comet that should have already been moved for us. We'll see which one it chooses. Hopefully it's not the one I'm thinking, because if it is, then I don't know if I'm gonna wanna end the video with it just because of how tiresome that is. I think, well, let me check. I think, I think this is the one that I believe could be a bit of a butt, but we'll find out. Yeah, I don't know. I wish that the game didn't kind of stagnate like this. It's a little frustrating that it causes you to do the stars in the order that it kind of wants, but Whatever, we're at the end of it. I don't know why I'm complaining. That's kind of the theme. I honestly have thought about making a secondary channel of just edited clips of me dying or failing or just complaining. We'll call it d Mike Complaints. That sounds, you know, a million subscriber channel idea for sure. Whatever entertains the masses. That's what I'm here for. And if you guys like to see me get all hot and bothered, bothered and hot. Actually, I don't think that that's what I meant to say. Let's go with disgruntled. Yep, yeah, that's what this one is. We're just going to do it. We're just going to do it. Hopefully this doesn't take me too long. Thankfully, this one does not have any sort of additional gimmicks to it. It's just a purple comet collectathon. It does have swimming, which sucks, but that's okay. At the very least, it is... There's some of these coins that are kind of annoying to get, just based on if I remember where they are. But the game is cool enough to at least start you off where you need to be. 
So we're gonna go and collect the underwater ones here first. We're gonna swim around. I actually really like the the song of this. Oh, well, that would've been cool if I could've gotten that. I like the song of this kind of ghost ship area. I'll be quiet for a second so you can hear it. It's kind of percussive. I like it. It'd be good if I could grab these coins when I need to. There we go. All right. So yeah, the last few-ish stars are probably all going to be very similar in that they'll be purple coin stars, I believe. Except for the green ones. Those ones will just be the, the bonus challenge stars, which may or may not be more difficult than the ones I've already done. I don't know. But once again, using Mario's Luma Jump. Swing around here real quick to make sure we got it. It does let you collect those purple coins in a bundle. Speaking of bundles, this is just kind of how my brain works, by the way. So if you're wondering why my commentary is just kind of random, it's literally my stream of consciousness coming to life while I'm using a video game as a medium, medium for conversation. So speaking of bundles, everybody in their life at some point has probably had a video game bundle that they've bought, whether it's like a video game that has like a multi-pack or you bought a new console that came with a game, right? Everybody's had that at some point, I'm sure. And if you haven't, I'm sure you've seen it, so you know what that is. So bundles are cool, you know? It feels like you're getting a deal. A lot of the time you are. And usually these come out in two sort of fashions. It comes out at the beginning of the life cycle of a console, and then it comes out near the end. And the reason for that is to continue to have people buy the assets, right? So in this case, I like to think of when I was younger and it was one of the last consoles that I was gifted. Every, every, yeah, every console I've had since the Wii U, I used it with my big boy monies and I bought them myself. So the console in particular I'm talking about is the GameCube which is great. If you don't like GameCube, then you're not a friend of mine. You can get out. But I bought a GameCube. Or, sorry, I was I was given a GameCube and as a present. And I remember I was at Toys R Us. And that was back... That really dates this video because Toys R Us is not really much of a thing anymore. I was at Toys R Us. I was at Blockbuster. And then I went to CeCe's Pizza. I'm just kidding. But I did go to Toys R Us. And I bought a platinum-colored GameCube. All of my friends had GameCubes. I was a late bloomer. I didn't get one. So I would mooch off of them at their homes and play with their play with their cubes. Always always find friends who will let you play with their cubes. That's good. It's good for you. So I bought the GameCube and I remember how excited I was because it was a bundle. It was a promotion. Normally I think GameCubes retailed for like 250 US back in the day, whenever this came out. Uh, and I remember how exciting it was because they would let you choose a game, right? And you could choose one of four, and the options were fantastic, sort of. So your options were Mario Kart Double Dash, which is a wonderful game. If you guys haven't played that, I highly recommend it. It's one of the best Mario Karts out there. It's very unique. Only, I think, the only one that might be better or on par with as good as it is is Mario Kart 8. But that's kind of without speaking. Mario Kart 8 is obviously a very well-polished game. But you could have Mario Kart Double Dash, Zelda Wind Waker, Metroid Prime, or, rounding out the bunch, Star Fox Adventures. Which, if you have played that game, is a steaming hot pile of garbage. And you'll never guess which one I chose because I was a child and very uninformed. This was kind of like in the slightly pre-internet days, and I wasn't really somebody who used the computer much, which is funny because of what my life is like now, but back then you just kind of got your information from word of mouth, I guess. That's how you figure stuff out. You'd have your friends whose parents had computers and they would kind of tell you what's going on. So, you know, I had my friends who would 
tell me about all the cool gaming stuff coming up. And then I apparently was just not told about the fact that Star Fox Adventures is uh, hot, turdy garbage. So I live my life with the burden knowing that I passed up on three all time classics to buy Star Fox Adventures, which I maybe got like, I don't know, five, ten hours into before I realized I did not like it. So we all make mistakes, I guess. That's one of my most embarrassing ones. I'll make myself vulnerable for you guys because I care about you. And that's how you show you care, is you make yourself vulnerable for your friends. I'm trying to be emotionally available for this channel. It's important. All right, so we've got five more to get. I think they're on the, the butt of the ship. I don't know what that's called. The bow, maybe? Is that it? I'm not a sailor. Is that the front? I don't, I don't quite remember. I forgot to take, uh, forgot to join boat club. So my apologies in advance for not respecting the terminology of the maritime world. Okay, so I think there might be a couple left on the front of the ship that I can get, hopefully. I don't quite remember. That's what makes this type of a mission a bit of a, a bit of a butt is you have to kind of like all of the other purple coin ones have been you got to kind of scan around and the, the camera is very unforgiving so you can't really see what you're doing i don't know if there's any more up on this cliff but i could get a better vantage point from up here scoot around oh there's one here that's good that was worthwhile maybe there's another one on this side i don't know using the Shadows of the coins is kind of good. It'd be cool if I could switch the camera around to actually see the ship. That'd be great, wouldn't it? And the game says no, sir. I don't know if there's one underneath the platform. There might be. Let's do some swimming. Just keep swimming. Please don't sue me, Disney. All right. So we're gonna, oh, there it is. That wasn't too bad. I remember this one being much more difficult when I did this the first time. I don't know. But that was... A star done in about a third of the time of the Dreadnought star, so you're welcome. That's efficiency. Here at D Mike Industries, we are a well oiled machine that's never been well oiled. So let's grab this final star and get the H out of here. Bit of a long episode, but you guys deserve it because the next episode is going to be kind of short, so realistically speaking, this should hopefully balance it out. We're going to jump into those last two stars, the last two normal stars, next time. And then we're going to wrap it up with the final green three. That's a galaxy complete, everybody. Thanks for watching. We're going to save our game really quick. I appreciate each and every one of you. Hopefully you guys all have a great day, time, month, year, whatever. Whatever part of time, space you're living in. Thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D-Mike, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.